As the United States marks the millionth death from COVID-19, industry insiders are noticing shifts in how Americans honor the passing of loved ones. Many more are choosing cremation than ever before, and some are even turning those ashes into precious gems. Barbara Chemis is the executive director of the Cremation Association of North America. Cremation has risen in popularity steadily and predictably, and that was true up until the pandemic when the numbers of deaths increased so dramatically, and therefore, therefore the proportion of deaths that were cremated also rose dramatically. It was a 20% increase in cremations from 2019 to 2020. For those taking the end-of-life process a step further, two outfits are leading the way in the ash-to-diamond market. The Illinois-based Life Gem, which pioneered the process, and the Austin, Texas-based Eternova. Dean Vanden Beeson is a vice president and co-founder at Life Gem. Life Gem makes diamonds from carbon extracted from cremated remains and locks of hair as a personal keepsake. We've been in business for over 20 years. Uh, we were the first company ever to, to actually offer this. We actually have a, a patent on the process of extracting the carbon from the uh, remains. The process relies on replicating the high temperatures and pressure deep under the Earth's surface. So essentially we have a very, very large uh, hydraulic cylinder. That's going to generate the pressure. It's going to push up and this entire frame is going to hold all this pressure in. So the cylinder is going to push this plate into this plate, into that upper plate, so that it can't move anymore. And it'll keep generating pressure until we get up to that high pressure range of over 800,000 pounds per square inch. The whole process has a price tag that runs below standard funerals, industry leaders say, with pricing starting around $3,000. Adele Archer is the CEO and co-founder of Eternova. What's really special about it is not just the diamond, but really the whole experience around the diamond creation process. It's about a nine to 12 month process. We're sending pictures and videos and updates and making it very experiential so that as they go through it, it's kind of a experience that the family, the community gets to look forward to, gets to celebrate, you know, and in the wake of a funeral, which is just a one day event, you really have something to kind of lean into and to find some brightness and some meaning and healing 